Jesus here, everyone. Welcome to the show. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's so good to see everyone. If you could share this, we appreciate it. Baby, you'll check the camera, make sure it looks good. Thank you. So, appreciate everybody. Good to just fix it. Um, good to see everyone. Great to see you. Well, then just leave it. It's fun. Um, good to see everybody. Thanks for being here. We're at the Home Show 2020. Uh, Harrisburg Home Show. I mean, if you have a house, uh, if you're looking to get into the trades, if you're uh, looking for a sales job, and you are really looking for TC Backer and Horizon Law and LLC, they're looking for salespeople for TC Backer, roofing, siding, windows, and gutters. So they have the leads. They have the leads. That's important to know. I mean, any, any salesperson um, is going to want to have leads. So that's a great thing about them is they already have the leads and they will do training. They just want people that want to be in sales. People that like to communicate with other people. People that just have fun. You know if you're, if you have that type of uh, personality but you just haven't found the right sales job. If you're in a sales job and you don't love it, um, then just have a conversation. Just have a conversation. TC Backer is a fun, wonderful company. It might not be for you. Jocelyn, good to see you. Chris Mendez, good to see you. Um, Kimberly, good to see you. There's my awesome wife, Christy. Good to see you. We just had a cheesesteak, french fries. They didn't have a soda. I wanted a coconut ice, which isn't the best to drink. But And we had a great meeting. I'm excited about Just know that if you're a homeowner, you can come to one place. Spring's here. You don't want to wait to meet a contractor when you need them. You want to meet them now. I, I, I can't talk and do that stuff, so if you want to go in closer, you can. Babe, you can just do it, yeah. But I, I, I didn't know if that would work. I can't focus. I have a trouble focusing. I can only usually focus on one thing. So, it's good morning. It's good to see everyone. If you sit here, I'll do it. I'm not sitting there. Because I can, I can increase it real quick. Oh, I got the wife on. This is my beautiful wife, Christy. Y'all haven't seen her. Here she is, the other owner of the Shane Train Studios. Good to see you, Christy. So, oh, nice. Good now we're talking. Looks. You look amazing. If y'all haven't met my amazing wife, here she is, my partner and everything. Oh, thanks for coming on. You look so awesome on camera. By the way, I love your hair. Yes, you do. I love you. Bye. Thank you. Thanks for sharing. How does it look now? If you want to increase it more, you just, you just have to go to the center of the screen and do it. It's kind of different. Yeah. So, But anyway, good to see everybody. We're here. We just wanted to get started. We're excited. Uh, big shout out to URL Insurance Group. Steve Clemens, the whole team at URL. Great to see you all. Really had a great time meeting you. And uh, I mean, me, I already know you, but coming out to see your new building. Steve, everybody um, at URL, it's great to see you. If you uh, are thinking about buying a house, if you have a house, um, whether it's, I mean, they have winery here, they have food here, they have a great thing to bring your kids, they're doing all kinds of building stuff. They're open till 8 o'clock. So it's $10 to get in the door. $10 to get in the door. Um, and if you are military or a senior, you can get in for $8. And if you're 12 or under, you get in for free. So what's everybody doing? It's Friday. We're at the home show. We want to see you at the home show. We'd like to see you to come out. Come on, come see us. Say hi to your mom. Say hi to your kids, grandkids. Come do a shout out. Yep. Good to see you. How you doing today? Oh, you well, listen. I, they're starting to say that about me. I love old people. Come on. Come say hi. So what's your name? Shane, they call me the Shane Train. Shane, Shane like that. Remember the movie oh, Alan Ladd? Pictures, pictures. Yeah, we're taking pictures here. I'll show you. Let's take mine. No, we're not taking yours. Yeah. What's your name? Yeah. Nice to meet they you. They don't make them. Any Harris? No, that's wow. How many people do you mean to say the name Harris? No, I don't mean. And were you a Smith? Like, were you in the Smithing uh, business? Like. Uh, Blacksmithing? Yeah. I mean, sometimes people's names were named after their trades, weren't they? What'd you do for work? 
What kind of work did you do? What did you do? I was a general contractor. General contractor? Big houses, large houses. They're having a tough time getting young people into the trades, you know that. Only 9% because... Yeah. Why do you think that is? Oh. He, he, he take guys and train them. If I had a guy that said, walk into my job, and I, I work with a penny company. All over the place, build investments in the malls, you know, tear them out for you, and then different people who go out of business. Yeah. We did a lot of that commercial. I'm not any better than anybody else, but we were good. We did everything. Yeah, I mean, doing it the right way. My son was a teacher. Exactly. And I had one of the guys who laid brick. I started out in 55 laying brick. 1955 laying brick, so you have some experience. That's pretty awesome. And the others who were out they were laying brick sometimes. And I would do this just to teach them. The chef was all going to work out very hard. Especially when we were doing it. We were doing it. He did said I never did finish work, but I was with Larry and I was working for you. And you know it turned out to be and I had a guy come in already a couple of like yeah, I'm hungry for you. And then and they say, look at one of your houses. I can do any kind of thing you can do. Your guys can do it. And they they know that I'm young. They can say I'm calling you. Them guys are never learning. Well, so you need to escape a nugget. Be a learner. Be a learner in attitude. He just gave you the nuggets. I would love to have you on here. You have a lot of knowledge. If you don't mind coming down and talk, talking to someone. What are you doing? Well, we talk about the trades for TC Backer. If you want to. All right. Well, TC Backer roofing, siding, windows, gutters. And then Ty's the owner. He's right over there. They'd love to talk to you. The guy's over there. We're just doing a live broadcast for him. Because everybody's on their phone. Well, I mean, well, it's on live. It's not hitting you. But if you sat down here and had a conversation with me, right? Yeah. If you sat here, you'd be on live with me, a live show. But you know what, people? The thing is, is they need to see people like you to understand your knowledge, right? Like your knowledge is important. Yeah. Back then. You're not, you weren't even born yet. No, I was born in 69. I'm 50. I'm 50. I was born in 1969. You were already laying bricks at 55, so that lets you know. You're how old? I'm 82. Man, you can tell that you work hard. You look really good. Wow. I'm a thankful Grateful. Can I have this conversation? I'd love to have you sit here. Doing a great job at it. You look great. Set out to do what you do. You want to do the best thing you can do, and the best, the best that you know that you can put out. Sometimes you might not do certain things as good. Honest and treat people with respect and 
Wow. I used to get up to Wow, here's my car. So, it's nice to meet you. Yeah, where are you from? I live in York. York? That's my wife. We have a couple of companies. We have a uh, three or four companies, insurance, business, social media. We're here with TC Backer Construction. Good. 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 Seven no, that's this is all TC Backer. This is all we teamed up with them. They're an amazing company. They, everything you talked about is what they are. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's awesome. Well, that's that's. They need young people in the trades. Lifetime poor quality. Yeah. Yeah. It does. It is. I can't say it exactly. Yeah. It should be able to do it. You're eight. No. And um, then, so, how do I get you here to say hi? I'd love to have you. I love for people. People see me just talking to myself. Can I have them just introduce you to them real quick? No? Well, you and I can just have a conversation, but I appreciate meeting you. We would just have a conversation. You don't have to remember anything. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Come sit here. You can be more than welcome. I'd love to have you on. It's good to see you. I'm having a great conversation with Harry Smith, right? Harry Smith. It's very nice to meet you. Check out TC Backer. If you want to go to the other side and just say hi to them, you can met, tell them you met Shane Train. I'm the Shane Train. Yeah, walk over and tell them you met me, Harry. They would love to talk to you, right? Because they look up to people like you. You don't have to. They would love to talk to you. They're honored to meet another craftsman. Harry Smith is in the house. Guys, we appreciate you. Harry, thanks for being here today. Um, guys, gals, if you guys can share this out, I appreciate you being here. Thank you very much. We are at the... Uh, I had... Uh, what great information he was giving us. Amazing, amazing. Huh? They couldn't hear him, I know. But I still had to talk to him. I couldn't be disrespectful. Great man. Great information. Thank you, babe. I appreciate it. He was, wasn't he giving us nuggets? Oh, so he was hard to hear. Great nuggets. Good to see everyone. Thanks for sharing. Jason Charles, good to see you. Tyler, good to see you. Kimberly, good to see you. I know I've kind of been distracted on talking, so but I had to talk to this man. He had amazing information and really just couldn't let it slip away. So listen, we would love to have you come down. Come down to the home show. We're waiting for you. We're going to be here till 8 o'clock tonight. It's amazing. Great stuff. 2020 home show. I can't believe I'm up here now. I just ate a cheesesteak like this big with fries. That's a big cheesesteak. Um, but, yeah, if you're a business and you're in the home show, come on out. Uh, we want to shout out your business. We'll shout you out. They got wine here. They got candy here. 
they got all kind of stuff. Harry, you getting ready? Come on. So, come on out. It's ten dollars to get in. It's eight dollars if you're a kid or a senior, and if you're uh, twelve and under, you get in for free. Military and seniors eight dollars. Adults ten dollars. And if you show your ID for military and senior, you get the eight dollar. Kids twelve and under, uh, they get in for free. So it's great to see everyone. Thanks for being here. We're just getting underway here today. Jocelyn, Chris, everybody. So yeah, we are very, very excited about being here with everybody today. Hopefully we're going to get some TC Backer teammates on here, but we're going to see. So message them, tell them we'd love to have them. Ty, Chris, everybody, come on. If you're part of the TC Backer family, we're live. We'd love to have you. Come on. Let's make it happen. What are we going to talk about? Sales, 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 sales. They're looking for salespeople. They really need some salespeople. So if you want to be in sales or you're in sales and you're not, and you're looking for something different, maybe something that's for you, contact TC Backer Construction. They have plenty of leads. Troy Knob, good to see you. Tyler, good to see you. Can we get some drops for, for sharing? Please drop a five when you share this. Please drop a five in the comments. Drop a five. The number five in the comments when you share to your page. In the comments when you share to your page. Oh, I just put commercial. I, so I put the wrong thing. What is going on? Patrick, good to see you. Inez, good to see you. Good to see everybody. It's a happy Friday to you. Happy Friday to everybody. Good to see you. You want to shout out your kids, your mom or something? Come on. Come shout them out. Let's say hi. Hey, Patrick, good to see you. Troy, everybody. Good to see everybody. It's Shout Out Friday. Yep. Today's Shout Out Friday. So what interesting comment are we going to put in today? Let's talk about furniture. Do you like wicker or plastic furniture? That is the fun comment. Wicker or plastic? Um, let me put a five in the comments for uh, when you share. I have to talk and, and uh, do it so I know it's annoying. Drop a five in the comments. When you share to your page, when you share, boom, wicker. Ian, good to see you. So do you like wicker or metal? Wick, wicker, metal, or um, plastic furniture? I'm going with wicker too, outside furniture. I'm going with wicker. So please put in the comments, do you like wicker? Do you like plastic? Um, or do you like metal, outdoor furniture? You know they have the metal stuff you can just attach to cushions. What town is everybody in today? A lot of people like to just put their zip code. You can put your zip code, your town. Anderson Car Wash, don't drive dirty, join the club. Tammy, good to see ya. Um, if, uh, there's a promo code. If you put the train 50, you get 50% off your first month. They have Fishing Creek, Prospects. Street and Queen Street. Don't drive dirty. Anderson Car Wash. What's up, Noah? Good to see you. Noah's a one percenter. Good to see you. Please share this. Let's have some fun. So, if you could drop your town in the comments or your zip code, guys, gals, this is the phone book. Nobody's got phone books. This is it right here. Jason Charles, good to see you. Y'all rock. Please share this. Appreciate you. We got some fun comments today. What's your favorite furniture outside furniture? Is it wicker? Uh, we got Dover, Pennsylvania in the house. Dover's in the house. Where are you from? Where are you from? Oh, okay. Not Scranton. The other side of Scranton. Okay. Oh, nice. We used to go up to the Poconos, up to Lake Wall and Wall Pack. Yeah, that's a nice area. Okay. All right. So just down here, what a great home show. Great stuff, great products. Yeah. And if you all ever want to come back and you see us, we're here every day. You can shout out. You can get behind the camera, shout out your mom, your kids, your wife, anybody. What are you doing? Well, we're here with TC Backer Construction. And since everybody's on this, we figured they would have us up and just be on the phone. We're just sitting here kicking it, having a good time with everybody. Being a, you know, imagine if every company was on live. Oh, yeah. Wouldn't that be nice to deal with them? It would be, yeah. You know, because then you can deal with the whole staff. I have my own business through plumbing and drain cleaning. And I, I get a lot of business through the social media and the 
Yeah. So you should follow us. Uh, and, uh, you know, we lo- always like to meet new contractors and stuff. So you do plumbing and heating? I, I, not heating, plumbing and drapery. So if you could drop a card off to them, they always are looking for people because they do roofing and siding. If they meet someone that needs plumbing, they work in four states. Okay. So if you want to do the other side of here, you can tell me about Shane Train. They'll know me. They'll laugh. That's my superhero name. But right over here at TC, leave them your card. Tell them you met me. Okay. And we'd love to shout your business out. If you want to come here, you have a business, come shout it out real quick. Why not? I mean, if you're in business, you know the deal. Come this way, though. Come this way. Yeah, real quick, we want to shout out your business. If everyone does well, then no one's going to steal from you. True. So have a seat. I'm Shane. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Gary. Gary. So we got Gary here. So you do plumbing. You're correct. And what areas do you plumbing? Uh, Scranton, Wilkesbury, uh, Honesdale, Wayne County, Pike County, Monroe County, okay, Pennsylvania. So, so counties are good for people. So Wayne County, Pike County, Monroe, and Monroe, and then down here as well, Cumberland County. And, and so now it's coming. So how long have you been doing it? Uh, about five years now. So you know there's uh like people aren't getting into the trades. Right, yep. So there's a big situation. People are gonna have problems when their houses break because the average age of a tradesman's fifty. Yeah, no nobody's trade. gonna nobody's gonna show up to fix it because nobody wants to do the work. Right, so we need to get people into the trades. Yes, definitely um, do. So we wanna encourage people to look, he has a professional career, this is his life. So yep. what made you wanna get into it? Love it. Uh, I started doing it and I in uh I used to work for another company, the bigger name people, yeah, yeah. and I thought they kind of ripped people off doing it, so I decided to do it on my own. I could make a few dollars and then help other people out as well, you know, nice. like being fair to them, you know, price-wise. That's price the American wise. way right there. Yep. Right? Saying, I can do it, I think I can do it better at a, at a, at a, at a better value. Right, correct. You and know, someone that remembers me, what it's like to have that paycheck and have kids and family. And 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 the, and the not the competition because they're they're bigger than I am, but yeah. they you know they come to your house and charge you five hundred dollars just to show up to unclog your toilet, you know, and and I thought that was ridiculous and I just couldn't sleep at night and I figured I could do it cheaper and still make a few dollars. So you you clean people's drains? Correct. That's got to be a huge one. Yeah, it's so can you can you give us a couple tips on drains? What should you not put down your drain to clean it? You should not put anything that well. So a lot of people say flushable wipes. Don't put wipes down the toilet. They're not. They, you can flush anything down the toilet. You can flush a sheet down the toilet, but it ain't gonna make it out the drain. They don't, you know, deteriorate. Like toilet paper will fall apart and break apart. Um, down in your your kitchen sinks, I always recommend Dawn the blue Dawn dish soap. Dump a little bit of that down once a month, and when you dump that down there, it, let it sit for about 10 minutes in your drain, and then run hot water for about five minutes and do that once a month, and it would keep that from clogging up with grease and stuff like that. Oh, because it takes it, it gets the Dawn grease. Dish so grease, is grease a big killer to the drain? It can, it can be, depending on what you're dumping down. Like a lot of people, they'll just dump their, you know, bacon, bacon grease. grease down there and it clogs right up within hours. So, so that's not good. <laughs> what about bathroom drains? Is there anything people shouldn't be putting down their bathroom? Is Drano a good product? Um, the Drano... Or does it corrode? I heard it corrodes. It, it corrodes the pipes. And a lot of it corrodes the pipes. And then if it's a soft clog, you might once in a while get through it. But usually if it's a... Uh, like if it's hair and stuff like that, Drano's not doing it, and you do have to call, you know, either. A lot of times the traps catch everything. So if it's not in the trap, you know, you pretty much have to call somebody in with a cable or come cable it out for you. But Drano's and stuff like that, you know, once in a while I get lucky and pop open, but for the most part they don't pop open. Is there any type of, what's the new, I heard there's new piping out, right, that there's this new flex piping I saw once. Is that, like, do they not use copper? Are they getting away from copper? No, no, they still use copper. There's just yeah. customer preference that they have PEX pipe is what they yeah, call it. Yeah, that's what yep. it's called. It's, so what is that? Can you explain to me? I just saw it for the first time. PEX pipe do is... Do you recommend it? I do. I, well, I... It they depends. said it doesn't freeze like copper, so right, it if you will have a trailer or something where instead of it freezing, that it'll expand. Is that it will true? expand, but it will still freeze and break. But it will just—it takes longer, I guess. You know, depending on. But um, with the copper, I mean, copper is probably awesome. everybody's. You know, pep for, everybody prefers copper. But with the the PEX, it's it's a little bit cheaper. I don't like PEX personally because it looks messy. Like when you're running it all through the house, you know, you kind of you know you see her. It looks like cable. Right, it looks like cable. It looks like a mess to me. But, yeah. you know, copper, you can put neater and stuff nice like that, thing. where, where PEX, is, uh, PEX is nice and it's convenient. It's cheaper than copper, but it's at the same time, it's it uh, it looks messy to me. But that's so, just me. So what would you tell someone that wants to get into the trades? What would you, because we want to encourage people. So what do you think holds people back? Do you think parents are telling their kids it's not professional, you can't get a real check, do they still believe that stuff? Um, no, I had my, my son, he... 
had to see the magistrate. He was younger. He wasn't going to school. And I'll be honest, he wasn't going to school. So he he had to go to the uh, he had to go to the um, magistrate. You know, to find out why he didn't want to go to school. That's my wife. Hi. Hi. So he says. So he told him. He said. You know, he asked what I was doing. He said plumbing, and my son wants to help me out later on and start doing plumbing too. He said, "Oh, good." He said, "Be a plumber." He said, "Because we already have enough." He said, "They make more than doctors and lawyers." He says, "And we already have enough doctors and lawyers, so you can make good money at being a plumber." Amen. That was good advice right there, and that's true. Not only, but the value is going up more and more because people don't aren't going into it. So that means the value is going up more and more. Correct. Like they had a shortage of nurses, which I don't believe they have now. Or but I'm not an expert, but that's where they are with the trades. Like, they need trades people. Women, they need women in the trades, too. Uh, yep, definitely. Um, you know, I always tell people women are great operators because they're a little bit more careful with the equipment. Yeah, yeah. You know? They do. My, uh, my, both of my daughters, they're more like tomboys, but, and they want to kind of do the plumbing. You know, they all want to be diesel mechanics and everything else. Nice. They didn't yet, but that's what they want to be. So I have no idea, you know. We'll see yeah. what happens. So. Well, that's pretty awesome. Yeah. you got to be encouraged. So does it, like in our county, we have one trade school. It's called York County Vote Tech for the whole county, which is crazy. Yeah. Do you guys have a tech school? Uh, not, not where, where I was from, we do not. I think Scranton does, but like the... They didn't offer it to the kids in our area, like Wayne County, Pike County. I think. Wow, you would think up there that would be such nope. a necessary thing. And and I feel, everybody, all the little kids hold your ears, but I, I feel a vote tech or a trade school is more important than college of any sort, you know. You know, we you know. talked about that. Joe Ritter, good to see you, man. Ritter Insurance, good to see you. Victor does security systems. So we have all these people. Most people follow us are entrepreneurs. Okay. And we want to support each other. Right. Like back in the day. Yep. Right? Like my friend down here, he's been doing plumbing. This guy's been doing uh, woodworking. This guy's a good um, finished carpenter, right? Right. And people trust people. Oh, definitely. You know what I mean? Yep. And there's no phone book anymore. No. Nope. So it, this is it. Yep. And right? You, yeah, exactly. And you said your business, you get a lot of business on what? Facebook. On yep, on Facebook. On I the guess. phone. Yep. At the end of the day. Yep, Facebook and Yelp. So, at the end of the day, the phone is where people are. So, what would you encourage? Like, you know, a lot of people look at certain people. They, I wasn't born to be on social media, but this is where people are. Yeah. So, if you love your business, just get on there and talk about what you do. Yep. Yeah. You know what I mean? Exactly. So, so what are some things that you do? Do you do new construction, just fixing people's stuff? I don't. I, I don't do new construction. I I use. Bill. I work with myself or my son, or my son-in-law, and we just do, uh, like I said, the drain cleanings and then plumbing repairs. You got a broken faucet, competition, charge you four hundred dollars, put in a hundred dollar faucet, you know. And I, again, I just thought that was outrageous. So you probably I, get a lot of business. Um, I would definitely, you know, for the people out there that are listening, they. Definitely, you know, do your homework before you hire just anybody because just because they're per- so just because they're professional doesn't mean they truly are, and they're all they're out there to rip you off more than to, to help you. So be careful and get your estimates and ask questions. So what are some good questions they could ask a plumber to make uh, sure that they're doing the right thing that, the, that they're getting a good plumber? Call another one. No, no, like you know, get like a second. Uh, uh, yeah, always get, get an estimate. Right, get more than one opinion. Come yes. in and. Because there's there's certain companies out there who come and say, oh, you need a new hot water heater. And then you get there and it's only a pressure relief valve or something like that. We had know? it happen to us. The, the guy started smashing the thing, telling me that the, he was like, your your hot water tank is going inside of itself. And it's only a couple years since, uh, 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 who is that big name? Brad from White. Right. It's uh, 2007, whoever did it. And so this guy's coming out he's trying to like tell me that it's all imploding and everything. And these other plumbers like, bro, I don't know what that guy was saying, but he had no idea. Exactly. And they all want to sell you. A lot of times now, uh, there seems to be a whole thing with the big companies where they want to just sell you new stuff and not services. Right. So your value goes up even more. Right. They because they don't know how to fix it. Right. They don't. And that's the thing. Like, so uh, again, won't mention names, but they come in, and so people feel like, oh, we got a professional here, and those professionals, they're not because they hire, you know, regular guy off the street that's looking for a job. They hire him. They, he comes in and. He works there. They train him for a week, and then now he's a professional. And people, but people go by the name. And say, oh, you know, oh, they're here. They're professionals, and it's not a hundred percent. The guy running the show is, but the guy's doing the show is not. You know what I'm saying? So, wow. So, what's your company called? Vanderstead Drain Cleaning and Plumbing Repairs. Okay, and uh, hold on one second. I want to put. So, what is your phone number? It's uh, five seven zero. Five seven zero. Four eight eight. Four eight eight. Nine nine one eight. Yep. And and that, how do you spell your last name? It's V A N. Space. Space. I guess you know. Capital D E R. Capital D 
Capital yep. R. Capital S T A D. Capital S T A D. Vanderstead. Yep, Vanderstead. Drain cleaning and plumbing repairs. And I don't have a card because my wife always yells at me for not no, having no, one. That's fine, but what you can do is get on this feed and go back to this. I'll give you. Uh, uh, you can go to TC Backer on Facebook and you'll see this feed because we do behind the tool belt with TC Backer. Okay. And then you can put your information on this feed so you figure it's around the 2 o'clock show. Okay. So when you go to TC Backer on Facebook, and I'll show you, we'll go to your page. Guys, gals, everyone, good to see you. I do have a like page. I don't know if you can get there to it. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll. So, and then on this one, you'll be able to just, let me go to your page. So I'll go to your Facebook page. Let's see. And I'll spell your name and see if it I can find it. How's everybody doing today? Good to see you. Um, so we want to get the young people in the trades, man. That's important, getting young people in the trades. So what do you think are some ways we can get young people to want to go in the trades? Anybody have any good ideas? You got any good ideas? I said, like, we, him, we're, he, we live down here now, and he goes, uh, he's going to go to Boat Tech next year, which I thought was, you know, like we just talked nice. about, Boat Techs are good. Yes. And we should encourage young people. Um, did I type it in wrong? That is... Yeah, let me see that. Yeah. Um, we should encourage young people to get into trades. First of all, you're going to make a great career. If you love it, you love it. I was never a cubicle person. I couldn't learn in that world. I learned from doing. Exactly. Right? And that's the way he is. And if you do it, you do it. Right? And when you learn it, we need people to fix our houses. You know? We don't have people out there. The average age of a tradeswoman or a tradesman is 50 years old. Yeah. So... That's going to be a problem in 10 years when people's houses break and there's no one to fix it. We're right there, shit. Nice. I'm going to like your page. Yep. So I'll like it. Um, and then uh, and then you'll be able to see us. I'll put a bunch of likes, then you'll know who we are because I'll like a bunch of them. Okay. And then see how you put your page on someone else's page is you do the app button. TC Backer Construction. No. I'll put my pages, a couple of my pages on here. There's our insurance business and then our social media. TC Backer, they do roofing and then they have Horizon Lawn Care. Okay. And then we can all be connected because we all have, um, that's our social media studio. And then Horizons is the lawn care business. Horizon. Insurance. Got, the, the lawn care business always keeps me busy too. I always got to replace the pipes coming out of Sandman. When they, one more oh. guy runs them over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, nice, nice. Keep it working. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Well, we appreciate it. We yep. appreciate appreciate meeting you. Thank you. As you well. have a beautiful day. I will. Right. Right. Um, very nice to meet you. Um, share this out. Like this page. Like the TC Backer page, please. Like Horizon Lawns. It's good to see everybody. Appreciate y'all. We're glad. We're glad to be here. We're glad to have everybody here. But yeah, share and invite. It's good to see everyone share and invite. We're here at the home, so maybe we can get Miss uh, Miss Train to come back on again. She's a great, great guest. Um, Miss Train, what do you want to talk about today? Let's talk about so so. <laughs> did you get your door measured? So if you have, if you want to get hardscaping, if you want to get poles, roofs, um, they have gazebos, they have swings, they have chairs, they have. Um, uh, sheds. What don't they have? The only thing they don't have is cream for the for coffee. No, the one spot doesn't have cream for the coffee. But anyway, it's good to see everybody. We're glad to be here. We're at the Pennsylvania Home and Garden Show 2020 TA Farm Show Complex. Come out and see us. We'd love to say hi to you. We'd love to say hi. Definitely would love to see you. We're going to be out here until 8 o'clock tonight. So stop out, say hi. Look, they're doing they're doing wine tasting over here at uh, Deer Creek Winery. We got members first in the house. Daniel Barker, good to see you. Shout out to members first. Good to see you, Daniel. So come by the home show. We're going to be here till 8. We'd love to say hi, stop by, let's get a picture, meet the staff. We're going to be here till um, and I, uh, 8 o'clock. We'll be here till. And then we'll go home and sleep and come back here Saturday morning. So it's, it's tonight till 8. And then Saturdays 10 to 8, Sundays 10 to 6. So we'd love to have you come out to the home show. It's the Home and Garden 2020 TC Bagger Construction.
lot of people. How busy is it today? It is busy. If you don't mind giving this a share, support business. If you want to see business grow, your community grow, people have good, secure jobs, and share this out. This is the phone book. Social commerce. Invite some of your friends, tag a business, tag a friend. We appreciate you. So we're here till uh, 8 o'clock tonight. We always do a live show at the end. We're going to be doing a show. We have a show coming on at 5 o'clock. Believe me. <clears throat> People say that, believe me. But don't, you don't want to miss the 5 o'clock show. It's going to be exciting. We've got a special guest that's going to be here at 5 o'clock. I mean, don't leave now. Don't leave me now. I need you. I need you. I need your shares. No, I don't need them, but I certainly do appreciate them. You know, I'll be going live all day. What am I going to say all day? We're going to talk windows. We're going to talk patios. Um, what's our secret? What's our What's our fun comment today? I forget. See, I even forget what they are. Um, shutters or no shutters? That sounds like a good one. Do we like shutters? I say no shutters. They look too old. So I'm a no shutter. I think we should get rid of our shutters. No shutters. I believe we're going to be getting siding with a vinyl wrap. Windows. I don't know about the roof. They're going to check in. Um, a door. So, yeah. That's some of the stuff we'll be getting. What are you getting? If you could have any project, here's a good one. Tell me if you think this is a good one. I'm going to stand up for a little. We ate cheesesteaks, but it was big. But if you could have any product in 2020 done to your house... Whether that be a roof, air conditioning, plumbing, a shed, a pool, roofing, windows. What are you going to pick? A front door. Who's not picking a front door? Anderson Car Wash. Don't drive dirty. Riding with the chain train. We love Everwash. Um, thank you, Everwash. Thank you, Anderson Car Wash. You get 50% off your first month. Put the train 50. You saw we were at the car wash down at Fishing Creek. They wash all of our cars. Anderson Car Wash, appreciate you, Anderson. Thanks for being here, Tammy. We appreciate all of you. So, you, you buy a car, make sure you keep it clean. If you have a fleet, they do fleet discounts. So, how's everybody doing? If you're into home improvements, if you want to buy a house, if you want to work in the trades, come meet some companies. Believe me, they're hiring because there's not a lot of people that are in the trades. So, they need you. So, come down here. Come on down. Hayes. Good to see you, Hayes. Thanks for being here. If you shared this out, can you drop a five? If you shared this, can you drop your town? Be social with us today. We love, we love you, social butterflies. Even if you're not social, fake. It. Now's a great time to remodel. I see you guys out there doing big stuff, putting that that wall up, that retaining wall. Um, but listen, Anderson Car Wash, you go to Apple or Google Play, you download the app, you pick your location, it's Anderson, Anderson Car Wash, and you pick the Queen Street location, they got Fishing Creek, and they got Prospect Street. Interest rates are low, increase your home's value with a remodel from TC Backer. Thank you so much, appreciate you. TC Backer, they have... Um, same as cash, 12 months, same as cash, and they got five and seven year loans where basically for about 7000 it's basically $100 a month, and you can get a roof. You can get colored gutters, um, you can get colored siding, you can get vertical siding, you can get so many different options now, it's unbelievable the options you can get. But check them out, 321 Gator Done, that's their website, 321 Gutter Done, Gutter Done, 321 Gutter Done. Check out their website. If you could like their page, we would appreciate if you could go and like their page. TC Backer Construction. If you could like their page, that would be amazing. We would appreciate it. So yeah, we're excited about being here. We're gonna be here till eight. We're gonna be hanging out all day today. We've had some great guests on today too. We've had some amazing people stop on. Super excited about that. Um, insulation. So your insulation is important. You know, you want to make sure you have the right R factor. You don't overstuff your attic. As far as your windows, the U factor. You want to make sure you have a high U factor. 
So these are different questions you could have that they can answer for you. Jana, good to see you. Good to see you, Jana. Thanks for being here. Share this out. Invite. Eventually today we are going to get a couple people from TC Backer. Well, I'm already TC Backer, but we'll get some more in here. We had Christy here. Um, we had a plumbing company in here today. We've had some great people stop in. We'd love to see you today. I'll tell you what, they're busy at the wine thing. Why is the wine thing so busy? They love. You know that the wine place is from three hours away, so they drove quite a distance to bring their wine here. So come check them out. Well, we're excited to see everybody. TC Backer Construction. Um, we would love to see you. Come on out. Home Show 2020. $10 to get in. It gets you here till 8 o'clock. They got great food, great fun, great products. And your home is important. Protect your home. Protect your investment. But yeah, it is fabulous to see everyone. We've had a great time. Great show. Great company. I mean, everyone's super excited to be here today. So we're excited. We'd love to see you come out. It would definitely be nice if y'all came out. David, good to see you. Allied Maintenance, good to see you all. I just ate a big old cheese thing, man. I still have to run. Gotta get my running. But if you could invite some people, share. We're just available for everyone to stop in and say hi. We're available to be live. So that when people want to go to a company, they can say, hey, here's a company I want to deal with. TC Backer Construction. They're always available. Because at the end, that's what makes you feel comfortable, right? A company that's going to be available. So that if something happens, like, you know, when they build your house, it's not like things don't break. So have a company that's going to be able to help you. A company that's going to be able to serve you. So, yep, it's good to see everyone. What's your favorite color front door? That's, that's something we always talk about. Like, what's a good color front door? Is red a good color? Blue? Should you get what you want? Yellow? What about yellow? Do you ever see yellow front doors? Does anyone ever see a yellow front door? How about blue? Is blue a popular front door? What's your favorite color front door? David, blue. Nice. How about pink? Does anyone ever have pink? I think black is a classic. I would probably want red. If I was going to pick a, a front door, red or yellow. Good to see everyone share this out. Invite your friends. What color, what color front door do you want? What color front door? Just put your front door down. What color front door? We appreciate everybody being here. Why don't you go lay in the car? Good to see everyone. I was talking to my wife. So she's out here in my road dog with me all day, all night. We appreciate everybody. We're going to be here till 8 o'clock tonight. TC Backer Construction, Shane Train Studios, Horizon Lawns. If you have any questions, roofing questions, um, siding questions, gutter questions, anything like that. Roofing, siding, windows, doors. If you're looking to get into the trades, they are, they are in need of sales professionals. So if you're a woman or a man, they're in need of sales professionals. Yes, indeed. So they are definitely looking for sales professionals. If you're in, if you're interested in the sales career, stop out. How you doing? All right. Good to see you. you Want to stop in and say hi? No, I'm too tired. All right, that's cool. What's your name? Pardon? What's your name? George. George, I'm Shane. Like the old Alan Ladd, come back, Shane. Nice. There's a movie named Shane. Yeah, that's what I was named after. Come back, Shane. Come back, the cowboy man. TC Backer Construction. Oh. But see, they're like everyone else. What's everybody else on? Everyone else well, is on their phone, I right? I my own house. You have your own house? Yep, I built it myself. I've upgraded everything. Everything's updated pretty good. Nice. So, uh, what kind of profession do you have? Well, 
I'm just here doing a live video. We're live on social media. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. So what did you do? What did you? What was your profession growing up? I was a shop teacher. Well, I grew up on a farm, but I was also a shop teacher. Okay. We need that. So, but a lot of people aren't going into professions. Only nine percent of people. Oh, I know. Why do you think that is? Because too much time was spent encouraging everybody to go to college, as if college was the end all for having a successful life. Wow, I had nuts. students that came back driving big expensive pickup trucks because they got heavily involved in HVAC and some other trades. Made a lot of money. Amen. Well, that's what they're looking for. They're looking for uh, people to do roofing windows. They're they're in four different states, but they're trying to find good quality craftsmen. So, and uh, I was involved in the Ace Set program at Hack uh, with General Motors. The student graduates from high school and get a job. At a general, any General Motors dealership, that they can apply and get accepted at Hack, the ASAP program, where they work at Hack, go to school at Hack for ten weeks, go work in a dealership for ten weeks. They do that for two years. They graduate ASME certified in every automobile and have their own set of tools. Wow! It's like two thousand dollars a semester. That is awesome. Yeah, none of my students ever took advantage of it. A lot wow! Of this this is Todd. You got to I mean this guy's awesome. He built his own house, but listen, oh, really? a farmer and then a shop teacher, oh. and he tells you exactly why there's a shortage in shop. Can you it's tell him? I mean, in yeah. trades, tell him why. Because for too many years, students were encouraged to go into college because that was the end all for success. Oh. Now today, you go to a trade school for two years. You've got two years of work and money. Yes. And, it, and experience. Yes. Uh, ahead of a college student. And you're working in a trade that will guarantee you yes. decent living. That's he said what GM we're trying. does a thing with Hack for, for. ASEP program. Did you ever hear this? No. ASEP program. A kid graduates from high school, gets a job in any General Motors, General Motors dealership. And then they get applied to hack for the ASAP program. Then what happens? They work ten weeks, or study ten weeks at hack, go work at the dealership for ten weeks, flip back and forth. That's for great. Some two years, and at the end, they're ASME certified in all the areas. And oh they have wow! A complete set of tools, a degree in automotive. And that's at hack. Hack. That's really? with General Motors. Get out hack of here. Is great for trying to find out what the community needs as far as workers. Yes. They found out there was a shortage in nursing many years ago. Yes, yeah, I remember that. Program. Medical field and teachers. Yeah, and now there's too many teachers. No, at least not. in, well, in there's certain fields, I guess. In certain fields, yes. Well, most fields. Yeah. So, right. but yeah. It, hey, it was nice to meet you. Yeah. I wish I had a card to give. You have a lot of knowledge and you probably know a lot of people. What they want to be a part of is getting the education back for the trades. And they want to be a part of it like they came yes. up with riding with a contractor for a day. Yeah. You watch PBS, this old house. Yes. You see the apprenticeship program they've developed. They actually have apprentices on the show. Yeah. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. It's the greatest thing going. Yeah. Thank you. So no, I that's agree. It. So your apprenticeship program, we yeah. just told you, was the best thing. Yeah, man. I, no, I cool. agree. We've had great people. You know, we had a plumber here. Um, and I put his stuff up here. He's a plumber. I mean, awesome, man. We've had some great people. I yeah. tell you, everyone that came on today, super thanks to you. Um, and they've all been the trains. Yeah. And they've talked about the one guy was 82 years old. Wow. He came yeah. on here. And he's fit. He's fitter than me. Right? And he just talks about quality. All you heard is quality training, was quality that training. I came on earlier. Yeah, yeah gotcha. just today. Yeah. Just the show. Okay. All yeah, right. So. I saw him over here earlier. Yeah. He didn't yeah. want to get on. Chris, good to see you. Just kidding. I'm happy we're... Hey, Colin. You if you be. want to be a salesperson, man, you know what? You, you, you do that on your part-time, build it up on the part-time, say, listen, if you have any extra... here, Let me tell you, I got my sales career. I'm not even joking because if you said it, most truth is said in jest. Mm. Right? So you say, listen, if you have any overflow leads, give them to me. Right? So... It, and, and I had a company give me 27 leads in a row. I didn't sell any basements. And these things were expensive. Yeah. Right, and they said, "Listen, we have too much investment. You keep running leads till you sell." Mm -hmm. And they did. And you know what? I became one of the greatest salespeople on the planet. I bet. Um, because I love sales. Not you because are I'm, a good sales but, guy. But I love the industry of communication and having fun. Right. Right. It's not selling at all. And a shout out to the new sales lady. Yes. Um, Lauren. I what an amazing! I got to hang out with her. Yeah. Amazing. I'm 
amazing. Yeah, I think she did a great job oh, today. Well, she has the right foundation. Yeah, most definitely. She's got passion. She's great personality. She's Highly pliable. motivated. Yes. Yeah, and willing to learn. You have to be pliable. Yeah. You got to be a learner. You have to be able to be learning. Absolutely. And pliable. Yeah. And if you're that, mm -hmm. then you can do anything with Just the right about. attitude. Most Guys, definitely. it's good to see y'all. It's good to have some people here, man. I tell you. Yeah, that's, that's a good idea. David KX said, try talking to York Votat. That's a great idea. And hack. You yeah, do that. yeah, and hack. hack. Yeah, we want to do a, you know, ride with a contractor for a day. Um, I know Dover High School, we looked into that um, with, with their Votech program there. And uh, we were actually given the green light to be able to do that. There's no hoops to jump through. They actually encourage guys like us, companies like us, to do things like that. So I guess at some point in time this year, before the end of the school season, um, we will have a project that we can get some Votech students involved with. Hand sanitizer. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. Hey, Tyler, Derek. So that's important. Marcy. Let's put the question out. We need salespeople and tradespeople. Chris Mendez. So let's talk yeah. about salespeople, man. Yeah. Like, I don't believe salespeople come from salespeople. I think it's someone just like that knows like how you knew. Yeah. I knew that I was going to be in sales. Yeah. Because yeah. there's no other option for me. Right. Yeah. No, you can't. To be a salesperson, I don't think you can sit on your hands and, 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 and wait for it. How you happen. doing? You kind of got to go out and get it. Good. Good to see you. You got to want to be able to talk to people and, uh, you know, willing to get out there and put yourself out there. And, you know, and when it, when it comes to sales, um, you know, you got to you gotta not, you know, you got to have confidence. Um, what's Mendez saying? Nice. That's what we want right Chris, there. Oh, yeah, nice, he did. Chris. Shout out to the Nine House, the Backstep Band. It's come on. Yeah. You know, so we're looking for salespeople right now. Experience, you know, isn't necessary. I mean, um, you got to be able to, like, when people say salespeople, I think people think of money and lifestyle. No, you got to think of, like, you're going to take all these no's. You're going to, like, listen to people you are serving. Like, you're a waiter in, like, in that same fashion. You're mm -hmm. a caterer. You cater yeah. to people. Yeah. You don't put something down. You don't put a square peg in a round hole. I know you right. hear, but that's not what you do in no. sales. Right. And, and, and having the, the, the character to say no. I think is a great trait with a salesperson because you can ruin your career and a company's by giving people or trying to convince people of something they don't that's not going to fit what they when you yeah, listen to them right. that they said they were looking for. Yeah, exactly. You know well, what you got to be a good listener. You know, you got to be able to listen Chuck to what they're truck. actually looking for, and uh, you know, give them and sell them a good product. You know, what we're selling right now, we're a GAF certified installer. We have certain deep siding. Cody's we in have, the house. We have our own window line. We partnered up with a window windows you know we have we have three different window packages um, that we can offer and um, we actually have our our sales guy coming in on Tuesday to train our sales people um, on our windows and stuff like that so that's good stuff and then we got Kevin Kelly coming in from certainty to train our sales people Derek thank you next week definitely listen if, if some of the best sales people would be installers right because mm -hmm. you understand it and you have to understand there's no trickery to sales that's the thing there isn't any mm -hmm. it's being honest yeah. And would you go out and see them in the neighborhood? Are yeah. you afraid to see them? Right. You know, we build our practice on we're willing to see you. It's not all going to go right, right? So let's not get that. But yeah. we're going to be here when it doesn't. Like, we're telling you up front. Yeah. We deal with it doesn't go right. Nothing does. Not right? always. I mean, you've had, yeah. I can even tell you time and time again, but we can get past that and just say, yep. if you want to be with a company that's going to service, yeah. you know what I always say? There's no such thing as sales and service. Exactly. Yeah, you right? got to service the heck Don't out of sell coffee and not have cream. Like, don't be that yeah. company. Yeah. For you real. know, and For people real. do it all the time. Yeah, they do. There's a lot of companies out there selling coffee and they don't have the cream. Yeah. And right. so work with someone that's got cream and coffee and then you can learn to do it. <laughs> that's, right. that's a great example. No, I use that, analogies. That's a perfect I, it's example. Mind -blowing. It is mind-blowing. To go buy a cup of coffee, put sugar in, and I'm not upset about it. I'm not upset. I went yeah. and got cream, but yeah. like for their brand, that's like... Not knowing your company is important. Yeah. Like you don't say just like roofing with the out doing the fascia. That's mm -hmm. mind blowing to me. Yeah. That's cream, no sugar. That's right. Right? Yeah, exactly. You're gonna put a roof on and then you can't even wrap their thing, that would scare me. Yeah, me too. Because what they said was it's that's hard to do. Yeah. And we're not that good. Yeah, we're not that talented. That's what they actually told Yeah, we're me. not that talented. And we or don't want it to get worse. And right. I'm like, wow. Exactly. Well, we can roof your roof. Yeah. I'm like, I don't know guys. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. And they told me after I had the sugar in, right? Mm-hmm. They didn't tell me they didn't have cream. Right. So they, now I have this roof, and I'm like, wow. Yeah. And that's the true story. Yeah. And homeowners get stuck, right? Like mm-hmm. a homeowner, what, one of the great things that Ty says you'll hear from other people is ask questions. And yeah. I get it, right? Like yeah. we're busy. Yeah. So we cut those corners. Yeah. Yeah. Ask questions. And what we try to do is be as, as informative as possible. When we, when we go into somebody's house or... You know, or when we're typing up our estimates and stuff like that. Sometimes, you know, customers can't be home. Okay, so we go out and we don't, you know, we try to work around their schedules. Um, so on our estimates, you know, we have pictures of their home. We we pinpoint the areas that we find of concern. You know, and a lot of times we get out there, they don't even need a new roof. What they need is it just repaired. You know what I mean? Like, always ask that question. Like, can our roof be repaired or does it need wow. to be replaced? And if it, and if it does need replaced... You know, or if it needs a repair, if we repair it, how much longer should we expect our roof to last? Brett, good to see you, man. You know, so hey, Charles, we'll see you at five. We'll be here, buddy. If you guys aren't following Brett, man, Brett used to work for Tony Robbins. Brett does his own thing now. He's a motivational speaker, works with huge companies across the country, lives in Colorado. He runs up mountains with no oxygen in Colorado. That's crazy. 12 miles. Peace, man. I love you, brother. You're amazing. Yeah. Um, yeah, Ron, but, Mumford, good to see you, John, good to see you, Cody, Cody's in the house, I saw Cody today, Cody. he's in a sling, hurt his shoulder snowboarding on Monday or Tuesday this week, um, he works for us, he's a hard Kimberly. worker, he's one of our guttermen, uh, he came in green and now he's he's installing gutters and stuff on a daily basis, you know, Colin trained him pretty good, um, Tyler, he does a great job too, Derek, he wants to sell in wrap at the same time. That'd be kind of hard, buddy. I need you. You can't be at two places at once. Um, what else? Oh, Jim Roast is here. Um, Jim Roast is here with Jen. Jim's got his car up here. Come on up. Get your picture taken with a race car driver next to his race car. Yeah. Um, the show is going phenomenal. This morning, we didn't have enough people here to accommodate the people that were interested in our products. I mean, wow. we are having such a great show up here. There's so many people that are stopping by our booth. We sold some. We actually sold some. The some sales of our, lady. Yeah. Or, we actually sold some of our windows yesterday. Um, we had two homeowners who are actually building their own homes that want us to provide them with shingle siding windows and gutters for them. Um, we had a couple in here this morning uh, that actually wanted the 50-year shingle um, that we had used on one of the gazebos. Nice. Yes. I love the gazebo. It had the metal and it yes. had. Good morning. Yes. How are you? Good to where see you. Where you run your car? Huh? Where you run your car? Yeah, where you, the car? Where does that run? Oh, it runs everywhere. Lincoln, um, Jim, the race car driver, is right over there. Uh, he's not there yet. Oh, did he? What's up, I have no idea what size engine is in it. So you run Lincoln? You yeah, run, it runs Lincoln. Like, yep. Happy birthday, Derek yeah. Schaefer. Huh? No, some guy's birthday. I was saying happy birthday, happy Eve. So what? Did, were you into race cars? Come on over here. Let's sit down and have a chat. Yeah, let's see. Oh, let me go around the other way here. I don't have, I don't have time here. Oh, you don't? Well, it's nice to meet you. Yeah, nice. What's Jim, your name? Are you sure Jim's not over there? Huh? Are you sure Jim's not over there? No, uh, I didn't see he wasn't there. Oh. Oh. Okay. What's your name? Gene Hagen. We used to run uh, Williams Grove, Port Royal, Seals Grove, and Lincoln. Yeah, he runs at the same wow. places. Yeah. We had the big boys. Oh, yeah. What was the big boys? What makes a big boy? The biggest one you can run. Four what? T- the four tens. Four tens. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. How fast do those things go? Oh, you can get them up over 100. Yeah. About 80, 100 mile an hour. Thing. Wow. Yeah. Is it all gas, no brake? Pretty much. You got it? <laughs> no guts. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So what got you into doing that? 410. Oh, well, it got too expensive. Yeah. What got you into it as a kid? When did you get into it? Well, I always wanted to get into it, and my buddies were into it. Yeah. So that, you know, helped build the engines and all that. I yeah. knew how to do all that stuff. What did you do as a career when you went, when you got out of high school? What'd what did you do? I do? I went to work for Pennsylvania American Water for 33 years. Oh, wow. Okay, wow. Pennsylvania American Water. Yeah. yeah. Great. Was that here in Harrisburg? Local? Yeah. Okay, great. Wow. Good stuff. They're all over the United States. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Big company. So wow. did you work on the pipes? What, what did you... I did everything for the company. You did everything. So you got your hands dirty. Yeah. So you were I in the trades. I They mains and fixed services and red meters and 
And, and did, were you able to raise your children and, and send them to college on that salary that you made? Oh, yeah. Oh, you yeah. were, so you, oh, yeah. you made a good salary as a trade. Oh, yeah. All right, put it this way. I got 42 days off a year. Wow, that's wow. great. With health insurance and yeah. paid vacations yeah. and all that yeah. stuff. I got six weeks paid vacation, still only got 42 hey, days off. How are you? Off. Good. Huh? I have a house that has, some of it is um, uh, aluminum siding, so mm -hmm. pulled off. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what to do to patch that or... We can, you, it can be patched. Yep. Yeah, we do repairs, siding repairs. Yep, we can get your information and come yeah. out and give you a quote on it and let you know if it's something you can do yeah. with the price of it. Yeah, here. Yeah. If you want to take care yeah. of that, I'll take care of it. You got uh, those guys. It's good to see everybody. Anybody want to say hi when you're here? You want to say hi to your mom or your wife or anybody while you're here? He'll get with you, he'll help you out. Good to see everyone. Kevin, good to see you. Brett, good to see you. No, listen, we are. It is, we are them. Yeah, we're just. Yeah. No, but you don't have to worry. This is community. Yeah, we would have loved to have you on. <laughs> what a great time, guys. I love this community. I love being here with all of you. Um, we bring smiles and giggles. When you share to people, they might laugh or have fun, but it's entertainment and it's information and it's hardworking people that are just like you and me that go through you know, trials and tribulations every day, but they get up and they go and they help people and they either... You're either a client or you're a part of the family that's helping put the products out. And that's pretty amazing. So we're grateful to be here with TC Backer. Um, we love y'all. So we will see you at 5 o'clock. We will see you on the next show at 5 o'clock. I love you all. And uh, we'll see you at 5. Love you, love you, love you. See you at 5 o'clock. See you all at 5 o'clock. I love you. Stay awesome. God bless you and your family.